Welcome to today's lesson on transverse waves. This is a fascinating topic and I hope you will enjoy it. Firstly, let's recap a few terms you should already know. A medium is the substance or material in which a pulse moves. A single disturbance that moves through a medium is called a pulse. Transverse pulse is a pulse where the particles move perpendicularly to the direction of the pulse. And lastly, a transverse wave is where all of the particles move perpendicular to the direct propagation of the wave. Let's join Shanti as she explains transverse waves in more detail. We begin again with the spring stretch taut, but this time we flick it from left to right in the horizontal plane. When we disturb the spring with a single left and right movement, a single pulse travels along the spring. It is a record of what the source has done. It has moved from left to right and back again. A wave is a series of pulses repeated at regular time intervals. The source vibrates in a regular repetitive pattern which is carried along the length of the slinky. Notice that we flick the spring to the left and to the right at right angles to the direction in which the wave travels down the spring. Let's watch it again in slow motion. The disturbance is to the left and to the right. The wave travels at right angles to the direction of the disturbance. We call this type of wave a transverse wave. A transverse wave has the direction of disturbance at right angles to the direction of wave travel. The same motion is repeated all the way along the spring as the wave travels down it at a constant speed. Now that we understand the difference between a pulse and a wave, let's draw a transverse wave and look at all the related terminology. The transverse waveform is the same shape as a sine graph. Let's look at some important characteristics of the transverse wave. Firstly, the line indicates the rest or equilibrium position. This equilibrium position represents the place where the spring would be flat before it is disturbed to the maximum position from the rest position. The maximum displacement from rest to the top and the bottom. This top and bottom displacement is called the amplitude. The amplitude tells me how far the wave moves from the top to the bottom. These bottom and top parts also have special names. The top is called a crest and the bottom is called a trough. Well, now we know how to describe a transverse wave. This brings us to the end of our lesson. Attempt a task on this topic in the task video presented on the Mindset website. Take care and goodbye.